Hi, and welcome to week seven, everybody. Um, this week we're going to look at the student view on the iPad. So students will be able to um, access their Google Classroom on a computer, but since they all have district-issued iPads, that is um, where we're going to encourage them to work, and that is why I'm going to show you how to do that, um, how to manage it. And you can even share this video with students if you want to. So what we're going to do is look at how just to access everything and a little bit around you know Google Classroom. So the first thing we have to rem remember is that you have to log in to every app individually. Um, and if you don't know how that works, if you go back to week six, that explains pretty nicely how to log into all the apps. So I've already logged into all the apps as a student. So first I'm going to go to Classroom. And I'm going to show you the Classroom app from a student point of view. So these are all the classes that the student is in. And right now we're in this 15 minute Google Classroom PD. So I'm going to tap on that and it's going to show me this is the stream, everything that I've put in my in chronological order, everything I've posted. And then I have classwork which is in the center here. On the computer it's up at the top and those um, icons are down at the bottom on the iPad. So let's say I have these lessons in here, lessons five and seven activities, that's for today. The first one says sample each student gets a copy and then after that one it says test collaboration assignment and then how are you enjoying the summer. So each student gets a copy that works more similar to how you used to use eBackpack where a student opens a file, they have a copy of it, they mark it up, they annotate, they, you know, they work on top of it, and then they hand their own back to you. Test collaboration means that more than one person is going to be accessing that document at once. Okay, so I'm going to tap on sample assignment. Each student gets a copy. So there at the top you see the the date that it's due, the name of the assignment, how many points it's out of. It says add class comment. I haven't disabled that in this class. You can disable the ability for students to um, make comments in your classes. So if you don't want them to be able to do that, that's what you do in your settings for the class. And here are the directions. Add your thoughts to this document and turn it in. So what I'm going to do where it says, you see the uh, blue, that means it's a, a um, Google Doc. So I'm going to tap on that and it's going to open this Google Doc. It's going to open a preview of it. So it tells me make a copy, document sample, that's the title, list some ways that you are thinking of using Google Classroom with students next year. I could either tap the pencil and it will bring me to an annotation tool similar to eBackpack where I could just use these tools at the bottom and I could write my answer here and then I would save it and I could turn it in that way. Another, I'm going to discard this for now. Another way I can do it is with the icon in the upper right corner with the arrow. If I tap that, it's going to pop it out and bring it into Google Docs for me. And from Google Docs, you will see in the bottom right corner, I'll be able to edit this now. So I tap the pencil and then in here I can say, I am planning on using Google Classroom for all of my PD with high school and middle school teachers next year. Oops, what happened there? There you go. Okay, so when I'm done, I could just do the check in the upper right hand corner. And then you'll see, I'm gonna, I can go, the, the little back arrow will bring me back into my drive because it is actually saving in my drive. You see it says last opened by me, Laura call and make a copy. This is my copy of that document. Okay, and if I go in here, I can add to it again. So I can come in here. Oh, I see, look, I have a little typo here. Oops, I got to tap on the pencil. And then if I come in here and I put this right there, give it a next and I can add more details and then I do the check and it's saved and now I come back to my Google Docs. In the upper left corner you'll see it says classroom. From here I can go right back to my classroom. 
here's that document. I'm going to come out of it here. Then, when I'm done, when the student is done, they could tap Turn In when it's finished. I can also look at it again. If I tap on this here and I pop it out in the upper right corner, it will bring me to the Google Doc. And you see, I see it have all that information there. I'm going to come back. I'm actually going to go back to Classroom, come out of here. I am done now. I can say Turn In. Turn In. Now, let's say I get home and I realize, oh, I didn't do my best work. Or, you know, I, I finished I finished my assignment. I did turn in. I'm like, you know what? I'd like to go back and look at it again. I can unsubmit it. All that does is it takes it off the list of things that the teacher has to grade. So as a teacher, you can always go back in and look at student work, see where they're at. But if the student isn't ready for you to grade it, they can use that unsubmit. So I'm going to turn it in again. I can, it is now, once I've turned it in, it is now on the teacher's list of things as if I'm ready for that to be graded. Now, if I say unsubmit, it just takes it off of the list. Teacher can still go look at it and grade it if they want to, he or she wants to, but it's just a way of a student letting you know when they're ready to be graded or not. Okay? And that's pretty much how they work together. You see, they work pretty nicely together. And then um, another thing you can do is here, test collaboration assignment. I'm going to go into here, and then if I go into this document and I pop it out using that icon in the upper right corner, this is something that other people are going to be able to see each other's work. Okay, so I can go to this little edit icon, and I can say, if I double click in there, my student... Oh, it says E student. You get the idea, though, I think. Let's see. And it says, I will use it all the time. Okay. And then, if another person is going to add to this document, you will see everything, you know, everybody can add to this document um, together. It could be at the same time, it could be at different times, but this is one document that people are collaborating on. And then once again, I do a little check. I come back. I can go back to classroom in the up, with the upper right left-hand corner, come out of here, and then if I want, I could say Mark is done. Okay, so that's the difference between collaboration and, um, and everybody getting a copy. Let me go back to classwork here. If I go, hmm, let me see something. No, nope. that's a filter. Okay, I think that's all I want to do from here. What's up here? No, okay. In order to see the, oh, here we go. If I go to the main menu on the left-hand side, on classroom folders here, like almost to the bottom, I can see all the folders for every class that I've ever been in. So the one that I'm doing right here, it's the 15-minute Google Classroom. So here I get to see those documents that um, I've been working on. Does that make sense to you? So I'm actually looking, I'm in Classroom, but I'm looking at the folders as they sit in Drive. Come back to my Classroom here. I will also be able to see that if I go to the Google Drive and I go into Drive, this is a student drive, well here we are, I'm in, this, I'm in Drive here. Um, if I go here and I go to my, oh, that's not what I want to do, hold on, I'm going to come out of there, here, files, if I go to all my files over here, if I go into Classroom, you see what I did on the right, lower right-hand side? I went to Files. From Classroom, I will see all the folders for all the classes I've ever been a part of. Okay? And if I go into Google Classroom, the 15-minute Google Classroom PD, I see all the work that I'm doing. So it's not making multiple copies. The one copy is sitting in a shared folder where you and your student can access it. Okay? I hope that makes sense. 
One other thing I do want to talk to you about is calendar. Calendar. And so students can see all their stuff in their calendar. Now, right now, you know I had, do you remember? I don't know if you remember, but I did. I had a couple of assignments on the 30th, but there's nothing there. I'm not actually seeing the, the, the work from that class. I'm seeing my events, I'm seeing my reminders, I'm seeing all these ones. If I go to show more, I don't have a check next to the 15-minute Google Classroom PD. Once I click on that, I'll see all my assignments that are due. And then all I need to do is tap on an assignment, and then I can go to it right from here, right from my classroom, from my calendar, I can go right into the classroom. Okay? And then I can see where it's at. And now I'm in the Google, Google Classroom app. If I want to go back to calendar, I can do it in the upper left-hand corner. So I hope that makes sense to you. Please feel free to email me if anything seems confusing or if I can just be more help to you. And, um, and we'll see you next week, okay, where we learn a little bit more about using Google Classroom. Thanks for watching.